Hi, today I'll be teaching basic and intermediate hydraulics in Polybridge 2. First, for any basic drawbridge, you'll want to remove this piece in the middle and then make this a split joint. I'll be teaching two basic drawbridges, a bottom support drawbridge and a top contraction drawbridge. First, I'll show you how to make a bottom support drawbridge. First, you're going to want to start with this, a gap in the middle, and a split joint. Then, you're going to want to bring the hydraulic down here. So, normally, you might do this, but instead of having wood there, you want hydraulics and rope. Then, you're going to want to bring that down about halfway, because if you bring it down too far, it will overexpand and break. Overexpanding is when the bridge goes like over here. So now I'll show you how this works. Uh oh, it overexpanded. To fix that, we can just move this up a little. It's still over expanding, so let's try to fix that. If you feel you've already moved the hydraulic up enough already, you can lower the expansion percentage. I'll lower mine to 30. And now it should work perfectly. Yep, simple drawbridge. Now I'll show you how to make the top contraction drawbridge. First, you're going to want to make a wall brace. This is where you brace up one half of the bridge against the wall. You're gonna to wanna to have that on both sides and copy and pasting is helpful with that. Next, you're going to want to make these top woods hydraulics. This will contract the this will contract the bridge upwards in a curved shape. You don't have to do anything from here. This is your drawbridge. Drawbridge. Now I'll be showing you some slightly more advanced contraptions. I learned both of these two contraptions from Arglin Campling. I'll put a link in the description. The first contraption is 90 degree rotation. You can have this go either way with expansion or contraction, but I'll get to that later. First, let me demonstrate. Ninety degrees. Whoops, forgot the extra hydraulic phase. That's okay. Now I'll demonstrate how you can have this go in any direction with expansion or contraction. The first example here goes to the right with expansion, but that doesn't mean it's the only option. We can also have this go left with contraction. You could also have it go left with expansion. or right with contraction. It can go in any direction. It can go up, down, left, right, anything. It just has to be set to the right expansion or contraction for the way it's facing. 
Next, I'm going to teach you how to take this contraption and make it into a contraption that rotates 180 degrees. To start, you're going to want to copy this piece here and paste it up here. Whoops, not there. There, connected like that. Then, you're going to want to either do this and make it like this, or if you want extra reinforcement, you can add it to the other side also. Next, you're going to want a pole that's 2.5 meters long. See in that status bar right there? That's how you can tell. And then, you're going to want to build a pole 1 meter down. And you're going to want to anchor that. I'll just use an anchor point, but in a level you might need a rope or something. And you're going to want to set this to the right expansion or contraction. I had mine on the wrong one. Now, let's demonstrate. It rotates 180 degrees. Pretty cool. Let's make a build with this. I have attached the contraption to a bridge and added some cars, so now let's see it in action. So as you can see, the car goes first and it hits its checkpoint. Ooh, it just barely didn't fall off. Now the bridge flips to get to the other car, which that's the main part, which is pretty cool. And now the other car drives across. Oh, and it fell off. Oopsie. The bridge goes back up, and the first car can come back now. It's pretty cool, actually. Now I'm going to teach you how you can get any amount of rotation you want, as long as it's below 170 degrees. So the way you do this is here all clear my board. So the way you do this is first you get your rotational arm which is the thing we've been pivoting on earlier and then you're going to want to copy it and flip it C and F right click to select and then you're going to want to paste it with left click and then you're going to see how long is this distance. For me it's two meters now that you have this distance, you can delete this other one. Now, my hydraulic needs to expand 2 meters to get to that point. So, I'll make it a 4 meter hydraulic, which is the maximum length. And it can expand 50%, which is 2 meters. So that's perfect for what I'm making. This also works with other angles. Like, I could do something, like, I could do something kind of wacky and probably it'll break, but who knows? It's always fun to try something. Even this works. It's actually a greater rotation than 90 degrees. Now I'm going to show you how you can make something really cool with this.
and now using these mechanics, I've made a contraption that transports the car from one side to the other using only one road. First the car gets on and stops, and then it swings the car to the other side. Thanks for watching. This has been my first type of tutorial video, so I hope you enjoyed. Bye!